Alright guys, today we'll actually be talking about one of the former WHO members of the WHO. But just before that, I just wanted to say that I've watched the video before and somehow, apparently, there were actually some uh, errors in the video. Now, I'm not going to really show it to you, okay? So actually, this came from a video which I actually watched. It's actually like... I think it's Grudge or something, but I think it's on my second YouTube channel. I'm not sure if I'm able to show it or not. But I think I know that one. It says like, the WHO members who have died. You know, like, the WHO members who have passed away. Now, there was actually some errors in the video. Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey are alive. Eventually, we don't know why the announcer really did say that, but I'm not really gonna judge, okay? There's an error, so ignore the error, guys. Um, eventually, only three members of the Who died, especially Doug Sandum. If they include it, it's like, okay, it's okay. It's okay, all right? Okay, so who is Doug Sandum? Doug Sandum is actually the former English drummer of the Who. He was active for two years until 1964. Basically, the Who, before the Who, there's actually a name called the Detours. So what are the Detours? The Detours are act is actually a band which was formed in London, England before they changed the name The Who in 1964. So eventually, this was actually the time where Doug Sandem was actually in his early 30s. Well, well Roger Daltrey, John and Tussle and Pete Townsend were in their teens, you know, like teens. Now what I was going to say is that I think both of them could have been like um, 18 or 19 years old if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me think about this. So eventually, if I calculated this one, because this is from 1962, and then after that if we do this, so John and Twisto and Roger Daltrey were both 18 at that time when The Who was founded, founded in 1964. So eventually, uh, in 1962, and then you minus like this one, 17. So eventually, they were actually around eight, 17 and 18 at that time. So eventually, what I was going to say is that we do this right here. Uh, and then, after that, the WHO was actually founded in 1964. But why did Doug Sandum get fired from the WHO? Well, the reason why Doug Sandum apparently got fired from the WHO is because the age apparently just caused problems with the band. Because of this, his wife apparently objected to him for staying out in the hours at the night. On February 14, 1964, they changed their name into the WHO, and the band was discovered that that there was another group called the Detours. So eventually, uh, Pete Townsend was 19 at that time, and Roger and John were actually, were actually 20 at that time. But even though Pete Townsend was actually almost 19 at that time, it could have been, it could have been that this band was actually founded by teens, like late teens, late adults, you know, like late teens, late adults. So after that, the band had failed with the audition for the Montana Records in early 1964. The label producer Chris Army to express the express dislike for Sandum's drumming, and then the manager Hermit Gordon and lead guitarist Pete Townsend had suggested to the members Roger Daltrey and John at Twistle that Sandum had left the band. Because of this, Sandum had gave a month's notice and left in April. After Sandum's departure. The youngest drummer Keith Moon, who was only he was only around eighteen at that time, so eventually, yeah, he was only around seventeen or eighteen at that time, still a teen. So he apparently approached the band, the three members of the band, at their gigs. So eventually, he could even play better than than Doug Sandum, because of the vacancy was left by Sandum. There was no recordings with Sandum that had played ever since it was released. However, Townsend apparently described described Sandum as gangly, noisy, and ugly. Sandum really had to defend himself. 
being on stage to the band, but Thompson wasn't aware at that time. So eventually, Sandom was apparently hurt by these comments that Pete said because a few months earlier, he failed to have an audition due to the executive, which was described by Pete Townsend saying all these mean words. So eventually, what really happened is that when Sandom had left, apparently he was actually in his early 30s. So eventually, this really caused problems to him. So eventually, what happened in the book? According to Townsend's book, Who I Am was actually was actually a book by Pete Townsend. So eventually, it's an audio book and it was released in 2012, which has 544 pages. Because of this, he was hurt by this by the lead guitarist, Pete Townsend. Apparently, I don't know why Pete Townsend really did say it, but I'm not really going to judge what happened, okay? So eventually, Sandom had his own biography, autobiography, The Who Before, which is in 1964 and the who in 2014 which townsend had contributed forward now the who in 2014 actually included 70 year old roger daltrey and and i think a 69 year old hey, townsend uh the who in 2014 actually did include the deaths of keith moon and john and twistle back then but this was actually five years later Five years later, Sandom actually died from cancer, a day after his 89th birthday. So eventually, what I really do think about Doug Sandom? Well, eventually, what I was going to say about him is that Sandom, I do believe that he can be like a drummer, which is like very, very bad. But I'm not really going to judge and see what happened, okay? Because I know I watched the video and apparently um, there was some... Uh, mistakes um, saying that uh, Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend had died but I don't think it's kind of true now what they really said is they're still alive and well don't worry even though if it's COVID season it's just it's recovering I just hope that they can perform more of the songs around England you know like that but anyways I think that's my summary why Doug Sandem apparently joined the Who and left. But anyways, that's all for now.